Bonsoir tous les spectateurs. C'est moi fois qui trop fort. En pile nous pouvons déjà dans ce ça plusieurs fois. En son choqué moi mais en pile. Si on dit merci pour avantage ça que ou, ou ba nous pour nous dans ce salon la caillou pour regarder nous. À soir moi ou ou guest qui avait là qui vraiment vraiment important. Son jour qui important pour pour regarder ce ça parce que de même quoi je ça ça en 4 en, en, en le 3 novembre en au cap gardem là c'est trois liés bon élection cap fait élection ça grand pile monde qui pas connaît que quand si tellement en pile monde pas regarder TV ou pas connaît que son bail qui très 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 important m'ai avec mon kounya monsieur Tom Foli c'est lui même qui est candidat pour gouverneur en plus gros raison pour bon vérité que mon supporter parce qu'on aime font un programme ici dans Connecticut avec petit monsieur Tifi et pour exercer son bagage qui est très important et puis éducation son bagage qui est vraiment vraiment important et puis on, on, encore euh, des problèmes en pile là nous payer en pile taxes c'est tout chargé so euh, gouverneur Tom Foley qui l'a avec moi quoi moi il fait exercice à Timounio, Timounio remet en pile et me connaît son famille, men lié, son père de famille lié, il comprend comment qui est important, l'importance de la famille. Ce so, plaisir ma soeur pour me faire rencontrer nous-mêmes, tout le monde qui a regardé Kounyala. Ok? Monsieur Foli, it's my pleasure for you to talk to the Haitian community tonight. Bonsoir tout le monde. Thank you very much, Frankie, for uh, letting me appear here and talk to the Haitian community. I'm running for governor, so I hope you'll get out and vote, and I hope you'll pay attention in the days that remain. Let me tell you what my concerns are about the state of Connecticut. We've only had 1% uh, economic growth since Governor Malloy took over three and a half years ago. That's the worst economic record of any state in the Union. We have the second worst job recovery rate uh, of any state in the Union. And Governor Malloy put the largest tax increase on Connecticut citizens in Connecticut's history. That tax increase not only hurt families, maybe your family, but uh, it slowed down the economy. So it's cost us jobs and it's made the recovery for Connecticut slower than it has been for the rest of the country. So I want to reverse all of those. I want to reduce your taxes. I'm going to cut the sales tax a half a percent to provide a little bit of extra income, put some money back in your pockets that Governor Malloy took out of your pockets. I want to uh, many taxes are unfair. We have a very unfair car tax, for example, in Bridgeport. And I want to reduce the car tax in Bridgeport by 25%. Uh, I was knocking on doors in Bridgeport last night, and I told people about my plan. And they said, oh, Tom, that would be fantastic. And some people said that it would save them three, four, five hundred dollars $500 on their car tax every year. I also want to support small business people. And reducing the, the personal property tax, which is what the car tax is, would also help uh, small business people pay less in taxes on the equipment that they have to buy to run their businesses. If you're a family person as I am, I have three and a half year old twins. I know it might be hard to believe, but I do. Frankie's met them. Um, you're probably concerned about schools, and we have a hundred thousand young people in schools in Connecticut that are underperforming. The schools simply aren't doing a good enough job. America is all about fairness and opportunity, and if a young person doesn't have a decent education, it's not fair and they won't have the opportunity that America promises everyone. I'm going to fix these schools, and most of the schools are in our cities. Uh, so if you live in a city and you're not happy with the school, you're going to be happy with Governor Foley coming in and making things better. We're also going to get control over state spending. I'm going to hold spending flat for two years, and then we're going to stop the anti-business policies of Governor Malloy. I'm a business person. I've worked 35 years as a, as a businessman. I know what we need to do to be more supportive of job creators who are mostly small business people, but also to keep jobs here from uh, uh, larger companies. We simply need to support uh, those uh, companies. We need to have a dialogue with them. We need to address their concerns so that they don't leave the state as far too many of them have. We have such a great state. We have so many great people here, including uh, all of you who are watching me tonight. We simply have to pull the assets of the state together. We have this rich history. We have great uh, human resources. We have fantastic natural assets. We have some of the best universities in the world. We need to pull all this together, have a plan, which is on my website, TomFoleyCT.com. Please go uh, look at it, uh, and it will tell you how we're going to get Connecticut move, moving forward and restore the pride and prosperity that everyone in Connecticut 
uh, expects and knew only three, four short years ago. So remember to get out and vote on November 4th. Remember my name, please, Tom Foley. I'll be on the top of the ballot. It's a very important election. I hope you get out and vote for me. Thank you very much for listening.